All right, yeah, so a couple of modifications that I've done so far um, here in the Scion is uh, the lights. So if you see here, um, I changed out all the lights um, for blue. This is actually from a uh, Generation 2 Scion, uh, the radio. Um, so it works pretty good. Um, I like it. It's got all the little graphics. Um, you could actually make a CD to put the graphics on um, that way. So it's a logo of a Scion. This came with the radio. A city. Saturn rings. This one I like. So, whenever the the car is on, I made a little graphic, um, and it's just uh, off YouTube. I think it's like 10 seconds that you can make it, and um, I also put. Lights down at the bottom. So they're in the front, they're in the back, um, and then I also put lights in the cup holder. Right, so some of y'all were asking about changing the amber color on your odometer. So what I did was I took the circuit board out and I tried to solder some new LEDs onto the circuit board. I eventually burned it out, couldn't use it, it wasn't lighting up, the odometer was still working. So what I actually did was got some LEDs off of Amazon, and you can see them here. I got some LEDs, I used the heat shrink, put a uh, fuse tap, um, and then in the back, I used the Dremel tool, notched it out, used some hot glue, and put them there so whenever I turn it on it's actually tapped into the uh, accessory so when I turn it on there you go blue LED set of the amber I kind of like it so it matches all my other colors uh, on the uh, climate control and everything else so now we're just gonna put it back together All right, so I've taken it off and you're probably wondering, what are these wires here? Okay, so this is those blue LEDs that I put in. So um, you gotta make sure that you unscrew all the little bolts. So there's like three bolts, maybe four, five actually, that are there and then these tabs so you can take it off um, the back. So it's pretty easy, it's not too hard. So this is where I messed it up. I don't know if you can see that there. So there's LEDs right here. So I tried to solder some new ones, didn't work. So that is what illuminates the, um, the actual part of the odometer where it shows the miles and whatnot. So I had to improvise. So these here, I don't know if you can see that, these are the little LEDs. I think they went out, I mean that's, it's a uh, hot glue. So I'm gonna test them out, see if they're still working. Maybe it's the wiring. And it's uh, it's wired into the actual uh, fuse box. So usually I have a nine volt battery, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the two wires. This is a new LED here. And I'm gonna see if it's the actual LED or the wiring. Turn the car on and see if it lights up. There you go. LED went bad. 
Now we'll put a new one. Two new LEDs, put them in there. I mean, I, I drilled a little notch here and here and then just hot glued them there and then wired them up. So nothing too fancy, but it does the job and it, and it works. So uh, I'm gonna redo those. All right guys, so I put the new LEDs. As you can see, they're right there. Try to get some better light, there you go. And then now I'm gonna wire them So this is what I actually use to wire them. I'm sure you guys have used these before. So um, I'm gonna use these little heat shrink with the solder. Put that in there and then we'll see how it goes. All right, so there you have it. Uh, put LED, blue LED lights into the cluster for the odometer. So I like it. That's the way I did it. Um, if you know how to solder, I would probably do the solder LEDs in there. But um, this works for me. Um, I haven't had any problems other than the LEDs went out after about a year. Um, but they're e really easy to change out. So. Um, if you like the video, subscribe. Um, I'm gonna have some more stuff on the Scion. I do have a Ford F-150 um, that I'll show some stuff that I've done there. But um, as of now, front brakes, back brakes, uh, strut bar, uh, lowering springs, um, echo struts and shocks, I'll put them in there. Whatever else, whatever you guys suggest, uh, you know, this is going to be my project car. I've had Scion uh, XBs as my second one, and so I love the car. It's it's reliable. It's fun to drive. It's so roomy. So, um, like, subscribe, um, and we'll uh, do some more videos.